welcome to another Breaking Bad Broken Down. Uh, we've got only one more episode left. I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Philip Franco. I'm Richard Ryan. I'm You're Morgan. so confused. I, I don't know what to say! Richard is a special guest because one, uh, he's as big of a Breaking Bad fan as us, and two, uh, these guys shot an awesome Breaking Bad video that you should check out. Thanks. But this episode that we were talking about today is Granite State. Which is that? Is that what New Hampshire is, or is that? Is it a state yeah, of mind? Yeah, what is the double meaning? <laughs> oh it no, it's not a state of They're mind. They're minerals, Marie. That's oh god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> We're just always so, looking for double. Yeah, exactly. Okay. All right, so uh, this is it. This is the penultimate episode of Breaking Bad. It's a, the first of the 75-minute final episodes, too, which was yeah, really, so. with commercials, only almost an hour. But it sounds cool to say 75 <laughs> yeah. minutes of TV. But yeah, a lot happened. Uh, we open with the with the vacuum cleaner guy. We get to see who he is, the yeah. amazing Robert Forrester, which is great, because he's like one of the most... Famous cameos on the show so far. Mm. Other He's than helping I'd out say, Saul, which oh, yeah. the, the Harlem Globetrotter episode. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember when Mr. T guest started? That, that was really, really, that was really solid, cool. Yeah. I'm Petey the Fool, who cooks meth. Is, really fast, before we jump into it, I want to point out that we do today have two Team Walt on the couch. Boom. Wow. Sorry. Well, Sorry. And only one not Team Walt and one Team Nothing. Well, I'm, I'm team it's, on the fan. No, 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 team, team Breaking Bad. No, he's Team Breaking you Bad and Team yeah. Comments. I was anytime I watch the episodes, I'm like, Steve and I are crazy people, and yeah. Elliot's just like kind yeah. of batting like, everything. Like, it's like, why are you fighting, Mom and Dad? Yeah. He's the instigator. Like, I get it, but, Wait, but you know. But here's the thing: I've actually realized because I've never said what I am, Team anything. Like I'm not Team Jesse or whatever. What are you? I'm Team Vince Gilligan. Okay, oh. that's so what you, I am. So you kind of took me, me saying Team Breaking Bad and well, but saying Team Breaking Bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, Elliot, I tweeted I was Team Vince Gilligan last night before well, you ever said uh, you were Team Breaking Bad. If I followed you on Twitter, I would know. Last night. Streams. I told him to be like, I don't know what, how they're gonna advance the story since they killed off Walt. I couldn't just do it. Ah, <laughs> do it. God damn it. But do it. Anyway, so the, this episode, <laughs> described by many on Twitter, uh, was a filler episode. But how I, dare they? I, I say that's a build-up episode. Yeah. yeah. You have to build it up. It. It's the most depressing episode of the season. There. There is a big kill in it. And what I will say is, anyone that switched back to Team Walt after last night, shut up. Shut up, you already made your choice. You can't just do it because he's look, he's look sad now. Yeah. Okay. Uh, <laughs> wait, yeah. so you think this was the saddest so far? I think last week's was sadder than last night's. I don't know. I don't know, dude. Seeing Walt yeah. paying a guy to hang out with him. That's like, definitely. That's, that was pretty bad. That's the lowest. Someone sent me a but, tweet that was like, Walt is the G, the ultimate G. I was like, yeah, just this old <laughs> decrepit dude in a cabin in the woods yeah. with his freaking drip, like paying a guy to play cards sure. with him. He's like, ooh, that's... thirty day year old or thirty day old news. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Look, that's like, the thing. Oh. Two months also, out in the wilderness by yourself, yeah. then you, you don't have <laughs> exactly. contact with anybody. Yeah, yeah drinking expired insure <laughs> <laughs> because because you're too thin to, to <laughs> yeah, fit exactly. clothes dude, properly. And that's the thing. We've never seen Walt lower in his in the entire no. series. This is rock bottom. I for think Walt. it was lower when he was towering over his son and no, wife, no, and then his son no. called the cops on him. I would say that's no, far lower than being alone in a cab. Yeah, no, that, there's no, still this hope. Is, this is this is the aftermath. This is what all of that led to. Like his, the whole episode is about that. Walt is literally like a guy alone in the woods yeah. that is alienated or killed everyone yeah. around him, yeah. and he's and even his legacy mm. is going to be a guy who kind of sort of came up with the name of something <laughs> yeah. and then he made and a then, lot of meth and, and disappeared yeah. yeah and completely disappeared and like the and the people that he started like that that company with were able to like just offer double of what he's hiding out in the cabins yeah. in with, with just like think, throwaway money. I think his situation right now is you have basically pride coming before fall and now we're just watching the fall happen. The fall. Well that's the thing, I mean, sad, and, and I think the moral of the entire series without even seeing the finale yet is that the, the pride is someone's downfall. Like we're literally just watching someone die from pride. <laughs> like that's what it is. Yeah, yeah, but karma's a bitch, so yeah. for the folks at Grey <laughs> yeah. Matter, that's hopefully a, that M60's line. for you. Well I think the ricin is maybe maybe for the people at Grey Matter yeah. and the, the M60 
uh, because the M60 is great for killing uh, racists. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. It doesn't yeah. penetrate it that right people the that tolerate it. Uh, <laughs> it only murders racists. You... It's like werewolves and a silver bullet. Like, this gun is only for racists. <laughs> <laughs> do you guys think that he's actually going to go after the gray matter? I don't know, man. I, I honestly know. think I if they do, it's ridiculous because, like, we barely get back to the gray matter. I feel I'm like that was more tying it up. Yeah. I, think, I think it's more about that everyone who has ever touched this man's life, like, just dies. Okay. Yeah. The That's only why I way like it. That's be, why I like it. I get, I get that, but the only way I'd be cool with it as, like, a film nerd and as a Breaking Bad nerd is if they do as cool of a montage as they did with, like, the stabbings, the prison stabbings. Oh, yeah. But it's Walt going to each person with, yeah. like, a really There's cool song. There's just no reason for it, though. I think that was, the show might actually lose me if that were to happen. No, no, no. see, being because, team Walt, I have to say... Get revenge. Karma is karma, but, and you but you hit him over. Just kill people. Well, no, the question revenge. is, what does he yes, get you out can. of? Yes, you can. People no, do it all the time. It's justified. <laughs> what does he get out of anything, though? Is the question because my money is for my children, right? Mm -hmm. uh, uh, or he's like, at first he's like, are you gonna take my money? He's like, would you believe me if I said, you know, no? <laughs> well, he said it a different way. But then he's like, my money's for my children. His his fucking kid doesn't want the, the money because he's like, why would you give me money? You killed my uncle. Well, and that's the thing. He like, if Walt just thought for a second. It's always been about his family, but if he just thought for a second, if my son found out the truth, would he be okay with it? No fucking way. As well as We Know Flynn, written by the writers, there's no way Walt, he would ever be cool with where that money came from. But how well do we know Flynn? Yeah. Yeah. We know him. We know he loves breakfast. Yeah. And he oh, he loves the word shit. <laughs> yeah. Bullshit. He's allowed. He's allowed. And he aggressive. needs to give up that sweet, sweet drug finance challenger. Come off your high horse, yeah, Flynn. Bro. You just kind of brought up the point, like, Walt, what does Walt have now? Like, what is, what's the goal? Because at this point, we had a, a defeated Walt in the bar. Get Gave giving up. the DEA where he is, yeah, basically. Yeah. He realizes now his family wants nothing to do with him, so mm -hmm. he's like, fuck it, I'm done. I'm just giving up. I'm hiding. I'm a pathetic loser out here in the woods with no love, no, yeah. just money. So what was it? It really was Grey Matter attacking his pride one last time. Yeah, and that just got him up and fueled him to get out there. Yeah, that he has nothing left. So that's why I, if the last episode, I think, has to be just revenge. It has to be yeah. aimed at that, because otherwise, I mean, the, the other part of the episode that we haven't talked about other than Walt being alone in the woods, still, I like that he's not cancer-free. I like that he actually still has yeah, cancer, because that makes it even more mm -hmm. of a last so stand. So pathetic. And that all, makes, yeah, that too. It's well, also yeah, just a last stand. See, that's how we know you're not Team Walt, because you're saying, oh, he just gave up. he gave up. He gave up. No, no, he didn't give up. <laughs> Walt, Walt Heisenberg never gives up. See, but he here's regroups. the thing. I think, I he mean, goes to regroup and strategize. I'm Team Walt from the perspective of a viewer that understands that he's still completely immoral and a monster. See, I, I'm immoral, Team Wall though. from the perspective of somebody who is uh, a victim of getting sucked into a lifestyle where he get he builds up this pride yeah. but and the becomes craziest a monster. Thing is, the craziest thing is, is he's watching the Grey Matter people talk about throwing away that money and trying to, trying to clear their name because mm -hmm. they once were associated with yeah. Heisenberg. And, and you've got Walt who, if he had just stuck with them. I mean, it's just his pride. If he had just fucking like taken the money or worked with them, no, see, the he would have legitimately the gotten people, money, though. Working with the gray matter people, that's, that's bullshit. Like, when you create something with someone and then, like, you get... Like knocked out, like yeah, but he could have done like it could be it he, could be a pride thing. There's definitely the argument that it's yeah, yeah, a pride yeah. thing, but no. But I mean, let's say what do you that, mean no? Like, what are you saying no to? Well, let's say what do you do? What I'm you, saying he's saying no. Them. Don't go to Grey Matter and be the lackey, even though because it's conceding you didn't create it. But I agree with that. But in the in in the other hand, like maybe if he had gone to Grey Matter, we would have never seen the Heisenberg we saw, but we would have seen like a, a company man Heisenberg. We would have seen like <laughs> a corporate Heisenberg where he like so we could watch Mad Men. No, 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 but. I'm just saying. Wait, I'm just saying. In an alternate universe, like I wouldn't want. I wouldn't like that show. It wouldn't be as satisfying as this one. But I'm just saying, as a, as looking at it as a, as a realistic thing, if he had joined Gray Matter, maybe he could have worked his way back up the ranks and proven himself. Well, <laughs> what? I think, wow. what are you talking The Gray about? Matter thing for me, because I mean, we're for some reason we're harping on this the most, but I do think it's really interesting. But I feel like the Gray Matter thing was more of like a symbol for how everybody just banishes him. Yeah. And so for him, for the yeah. next episode, for him to be like, I'm going after Gray yeah, Matter. Might not even Wait, I'm yeah. sorry. Yeah. Like, Are you an idiot? Like, PR what move. world does he live in where he thinks he's gonna be like some fucking idolized no, genius? No, I think it's just he wants <laughs> like, to go out taking out anyone who ever wronged him. Yeah, I think that's one hundred percent. No, what it is. I and agree it's, with and that. And it's still but... pride 
and anger. See, pride and anger, and that's the thing. I, I get it, right? Yeah. I, I, I think that in my life, I haven't let those things consume me. Um, and I've always gone, decided I'm not going to destroy yeah, everyone else and try and rock thing. it on my own. <laughs> no, but no. Yeah, but no. it's this is what it is, Phil. No. It's 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 evil. It's pure evil because even no. though you're like, okay, revenge, that's, I think whatever, even that's Vince, fine. Vince Gilligan what? would even say it's not pure Actually, evil. Actually not. We Vince had this Gilligan. conversation 30 thing, minutes ago. Vince, there in no. fact, Vince Gilligan himself has said that he completely disagrees with all of Walt's decisions and thinks he's a monster. You're, you're, we're thinking about this There's in terms of There's a difference between Walt. being a monster and just being plain evil. Okay. There's it, we're not thinking of this in terms of the arc that's happening with Walt. We're only thinking of it in terms of Walt himself. Walt was a, you can say he's a victim, you can say he's a monster or whatever, but what's happening is this guy is defeated. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So what happens when you're defeated? People who are like utterly defeated don't get up and go, everybody is going to die now because yeah, that's just but, psychopathic. But, but, but like there's that, there's that kind of sad moment where you're like, I've lost everything, and you're clamoring at any kind so of... People, you're trying to grab exactly. onto that last so vine. So people, who are, who, people who are clamoring for something, who are defeated, grab one thing, and they grab the thing that they are most likely to be able to succeed. Sure. Which, in this case, in my opinion, will be the Aryans. But they sure, don't just grab I agree. freaking I agree. everything. But, I, but yeah. let's think about this in a, in a scenario where, like, this is real life for a moment. This isn't just a show. This is real it life. Is. Let's say it is actually real life, right? It's yeah. a documentary. Mm -hmm. So let's say, uh, <laughs> let's say that Walt really does get his revenge... And he fucking kills the gray matter people. He kills everybody. Like, what really? I mean, do you really feel like he won? Yeah, nailed it, bro. No, <laughs> you win, the bro. principle of it, though. I, I know, I, feel like, I understand the principle of it, but it's like, let's think about revenge in real life. Like, exactly. Yeah, even, no, even, no, go for it. No, no that's, that, that's it. Like, I feel like I'm that way. Like, I will, I will go the extra mile, even if it costs me, just to make, to prove something. So, but even if it's the, just off the wrong principle. thing. Yeah. What, what's the wrong? The thing no, is, no, make make a wrong a right, or if somebody wronged me, yes. But even even then, if it's if it, it could be even seen as more than revenge, right? I think I think in the whole idea of doing more good than bad. I mean, I think killing a bunch of crazy Aryans, right? that, that's probably <laughs> that's a good true. Thing. Killing yeah. Nazis if, if, is if, totally if, okay if, in if anybody's he, book. If, if he doesn't go <laughs> yeah. for if he doesn't go for the gray matter people, then it is this like I did this one last thing that might maybe. Like, I did something. The other thing we have to think about in the entire episode is everyone uh, Walt left behind. So his family, um, his baby, and his wife being yeah. threatened by fucking scare. If you want to talk about a monster, Todd is the monster. Yeah, yeah. The scariest dude. He, it, yeah, but in, a, in the span of an hour, yeah. he went from giving Jesse ice cream to killing the only person yeah. Jesse. Well, one of the two people. Yeah, yeah but we can't loved. just blame every. Like, if we're gonna blame the evils of the show on someone, let's say like, okay, we're not blaming Walt anymore. Let's blame Meth Damon. The thing is, is in this world, in the Breaking Bad world, evil exists. It's just that Walt sucked that evil into his wheelhouse, basically, and he I can see that. brought Meth Damon into his like evil world, that guy would still be somewhere killing children. I think it's too black and white to just say I would Walt's say, evil like you have been like the past few weeks. Yeah, I, I don't <laughs> think Walt at Gray Matter would be Heisenberg. I don't no. think ever. He was I just a product he, of his circumstances. No, because cooking Walt drugs makes you a bad person. Hi, I think right? Walt yeah, exactly. Had Remember that, kids. What are you saying, Elliot? Cooking drugs makes you a bad person. Eventually, bad things happen. Yeah. <laughs> I decided to become a, a meth drug lord. But I, um, yeah. I will say, Meth Damon has one of the few faces that is scarier when it's covered somehow. Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. ski mask was so, so right. nervous. Uh, just like those eyes. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And then the mouth. So, hey, we're gonna be okay. You and know, then, and then he's like crazy. trying to convince uh, what's her face that he's trying to bang that like it's cool. He totally yeah. scared her. <laughs> when Andrea turns around and he's like, "I'm sorry, no hard feelings." It's like, dude, what? You're killing someone. That's gonna make a difference by saying that. And he's making sure the kid's not there yeah. to see yeah. it. But Don't yeah, you so wear your ring sometime? Don't you wear your ring around here? I, I have my ring in my pocket. It doesn't fit my finger anymore. Holy shit, I'm Walt! Ah! Yeah. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching Breaking Bad Broken Down, and thank you Richard Ryan for being a guest on our show. <laughs> and if you want to check out his videos, there's a link to check out his awesome stuff and the Breaking Bad themed video we did. Uh, yeah, so I'm Steve Zaragoza. I'm Philip DeFranco. I'm Richard Ryan. I'm Elliot Morgan. Man, you're so anti walt I'm ridiculous. so anti walt but ridiculous. here's the thing though. Life Just, is great. Here's the thing. From my point of view, as a human being, I'm anti wall but from a viewer of the show, mm -hmm. I want to see him get the well, revenge. That's what I was saying last week. It's about the it, catharsis that you are as the viewer. How? You can't just fucking flip. Oh, no, no, that's no. right. He has cancer well, you guys and he's in the woods and he's too, sad don't again. Say that. I'm no. on his side. You guys defend Walt as a human being. Yeah, now. exactly. And that's what Team Walt is. Exactly. So we're saying as viewers, you can cathartically experience an evil person doing these things. Thank you, Elliot. That's what I mean. Well, you just understand that he didn't wake up one day going, I want to make meth and kill True. kids. Yeah. But then I also feel bad for him. I'm not pro-Walt.